best life is turning your negatives into positives. You know, that's my definition of living your best life. You know, like for instance, this week I cheated on my diet a little bit, but I ain't gained no weight. That's living my best life. Okay? Hello? I ain't gained no weight. I ain't lose none neither, but I ain't gained none. Because, uh, sister, I had ice cream, okay? Listen, I ain't even supposed to be messing with dairy. It's a shame when you get a little older, your body start denying certain stuff. You're like, what? I always had milk and cereal. <laughs> now you want to act up. You know, I'm over here like, damn, soy, uh, lactate, oh man, almond milk. They got vanilla in there, I'll try that. You know, it's hard, it's hard. Man, because it gets hard out here. I remember a couple years ago, my family lost their house, okay? And everybody had to scatter and find a place to live. I had to rush into an apartment I wasn't ready for. Man, I ain't had furniture for a whole year. But you know what, I made the best of it. Every time I walked in there, it was an adventure, okay? Some days I was Whitney from Cinderella. Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to turn into a golden carriage, impossible in my living room with all space, okay? I was Pocahontas on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> Honey, when I had groceries, I was in the Lion King like, no, to the window, to the window. Vulcan with fruits and vegetables, like, uh, tomato, tomato, uh, uh, tomato. Give me a click, uh, tomato, tomato, uh. Banana, ah, ah, banana, banana, ah, ah. Okay? Putting all my groceries away. I had a lot of space. You know? I had to turn my negative into a positive. All my friends would come over and sit on that floor right with me. And they was excited for me to be a bone. They's, <laughs> they's like, girl, you got a place. <laughs> you got a place. Six months later, oh. You still got a place! <laughs> Blow a mattress in the same spot. Okay, you still got a place! We got towards the end of the year, right before I was about to get furniture, and I was getting stuck little by little. I had a table now. You got a place and a table! Okay? Yes! So that's what your best life. You know, you gotta, you gotta really Really, really, when I say turn negatives into positives, I don't mean walk around like Mary Poppins. Life, life is not like that. You ever see those people that's too happy all the time? And you feel bad for being mad at them for being happy? <laughs> You're like, oh, this chick is always smiling. Ain't nothing funny. <laughs> Girl, it's 6.30 a.m. We all just got here. <laughs> Especially at work. I get to work. I'm getting to my desk. You know, I'm in the cubicle environment. You know, I thank God for my job. Cause you know, you gotta thank God right before you complain. My sister said, like, I hate going to work, but I thank God for it. You know what I mean? Like, damn, I don't feel like eating this today, but I'm glad I can eat. You know? <laughs> because you don't wanna mess up your blessings, okay? So as you complain, just throw a little thank you to God right afterwards, for real. So you can keep it balanced. But anyway, I'm heading to my desk, unpacking myself. I still got my coat on. As I take my stuff off, Good morning, Natasha. Cause that's my government name. <laughs> Good morning. I'm like, hey, you know, you don't want to be rude. I'm like, hey, so these headphones ain't work, huh? <laughs> Cause ain't nothing like having your headphones on expecting people to not bother you. All I see is this. <laughs> and I'm like, listening to the most gangster stuff I can possibly listen to. <laughs> cause I'm with all these white people. And you know, I gotta pull up to that hood stuff before the job and when I leave the job, cause while I'm there, I'm talking like this the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob, I'll get it right out the fax machine. Absolutely. Meeting at two, <laughs> right on. <laughs> Man, I am so white at work, I crip walk on the way out just to get black again. I'm 5.30, <laughs> they got me messed up. 